Hello everyone, Big Man here. Today what we're going to be doing is making torpedoes. These torpedoes are really simple, they're very very effective, and they're quite smart as well. So let's uh, let's get into it and then we'll use them on some targets. Okay, so what we've got here is just a very basic platform to launch our torpedoes from. I've just used six floats on each side connected to a hard point connector, and that will be to physically release the hard points. And then we've just got a button and a battery on top so that we can and I'll launch it. But yeah, so let's build this torpedo. First things first, get a velocity pivot or something similar, and then we're going to type in hard point, and you'll find the hard point attachment. And we just put that there. Doesn't matter which one you use, but I think using the standard square one will be better because it makes sure that our little torpedo is buoyant okay next things next what we're going to do is we're going to place some blocks out to the side let's say here and we're going to get a few things so we're going to get a motor we're going to place it there facing backwards get a gearbox facing into the motor we're going to get a propeller face that again into the motor and then we're going to get some fins we're going to put some on the top make sure they're facing the right way being the positive arrows rotating anti-clockwise next we're going to put some more on the sides essentially the negative going up positive going down all right battery in the more batteries you put in the larger the range will be on your torpedo but at the same time you know don't put too many in i typically just have one battery this hard point connector attachment acts as one of these small batteries so technically you don't need one but i think just adding an extra one to extend the range is worthwhile I'm just going to move my battery in a block closer. You don't have to do that. Again, it's up to you on how big you make your torpedo. It is your build at the end of the day. All right, next things next is we are going to need tilt sensor. So we're going to put that underneath here, underneath our hard point attachment. We're going to get an altimeter, place an altimeter in the center like this. Next, get a warhead. We're just going to use a small warhead because apparently for the size, they are by far the most effective. And after that, we're going to get a contact sensor because we're not going to be using impacts because the thing with torpedoes is that code they compared to missiles are not as fast and also compared to missiles generally won't hit boat on a straight angle all the time the actual impact would be a lot lower for the threshold and that's a lot more dangerous so instead we're going to be using a contact sensor so that when the front hits something we will decimate again i'm going to ask you to get your control fins out disable your x plane and we're going to put one on one side positive going upwards and then we're going to have another on this side positive facing downwards okay now what i'm doing is i'm just building this up doesn't matter how you want it to look but at the end of the day it must be sealed some of you will remember from my fluid tank video that you can use wedges to create more space inside of a sealed body so that's what we're going to do we're just going to put wedges on the outside facing inwards and for situations like this where you see we've got a gap we're going to use inverse pyramid and then there we go okay so this torpedo is sealed but it just doesn't have any function okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to clear out a area wherever you want in your torpedo i'm I'm gonna say one in my side of mine and make a one by six here and then we're gonna make another one by six hold here if you have one by six microcontrollers just prefabricated like i do that's cool otherwise you want to go into your microcontroller editor like i'm doing now set your width to one and your length to six okay we're gonna rename this one to torpedo throttle and we're going to add a few logic nodes so we're gonna take our law we're gonna also take our contact we're going to also output a number being our throttle and then we're gonna put a on off signal out yes on it so this is going to be controlling our throttle and the detonation so let's separate our values pull them out this first step is optional i personally think it's a good idea though because when firing a torpedo the last thing you want it to do is to slightly nick something with our contact sensor and detonate as soon like a few seconds after it's been launched you want to make sure it's clear of whatever you're launching it from so what i do is i get a timer and we're going to get a ton timer but our launch our timer enable constant number however many seconds you want it to be i usually say five to ten seconds i might even do five next we're going to get an and block i set down here we're going to put a contact to our end, a timing complete to our end, complete to our end, complete to our end. Oh my goodness. We're going to get the result A and B to our destination. In terms of the throttle, we're just going to get a basic switch box, switch value out to throttle. Switch signal would come from our lawn, constant number, whatever throttle you want it to be. I usually do 0 0.4, depends on what you want. All right, well, let's just update this microcontroller and we're going to detonate over to our warhead body, contact to the contact center, launch, connect for attachment. We're going to put our throttle to our electric motor. I will also mention that actually you need another tilt sensor 
facing out to the right. Place that in. I place it at the bottom because that's where the roll is at its max and therefore it will compensate. There. Let's go edit our other 1x6 microcontroller. Let's call this Torpedo Control. And this is a bit more complicated. So we need to have our altitude, our pitch. We need to have our pitch out and then we also need launch. All right, so now that we've got that, we're just going to spread these out. So we've got our pitch out. That's going to be our final result, a pitch. Let's put this a bit further forward and our altitude at the back. So first things first, I typically, I'm going to get a clamp. I'm going to put my altitude into that clamp. Now you're probably thinking, oh, hang on, that's not, that's not effective. Well, it is because what we want to do is make sure that whatever altitude we launch our torpedo at, it will hold that altitude in the water. But if we don't clamp it, and let's say we have like an air launch torpedo and the altitude at the time when it's launched is 15 meters it's going to try and go to 15 meters that's not what we want so what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that our max value is let's say minus one meter so it's a meter below the surface i'm going to put my minimum value to minus nine 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 if you always want it to be at a certain value just get a constant number instead of clamping it but we're not going to be doing that next get a pulse make sure the motor is off to on our launch to our toggle signal and then we're going to put our uh, into a memory register. I'm gonna put our set into our pulse and our clamped input is gonna be the number to store. So that way, as soon as we launch it, it will decide the altitude it's been launched at and clamp it and then set that number. Then once we've got that, we're gonna get a PID controller and we're gonna get our active from our launched, we're gonna get our altitude as our process variable and our stored number as our set point. In terms of tuning, I personally like to go 0 0.5, nothing, 0 0.5. Right now we're gonna get a function. I'm gonna get single f of x, put that in from our PID. And now this is quite a complicated little function, but it's just going to be bracket, clamp, bracket, x, comma, minus one, one, close that. And we're gonna multiply that by whatever you want the maximum angle of pitch for your torpedo to be. I'm going to do, let's say, 0. Let's do 0 0.15. Now we're just going to get our pitch and we're going to get another PID. So let's type in PID again. F of X, that's going to be our set point. Pitch is going to be a process variable. Active is going to come all the way from our launched. And then we're going to tune this to, I'm going to do 0 0.7. 0 0.7 again. Now, for this particular setup, pretty sure it's going to be inverted. So we're just going to do minus X to invert our output. There we go. Update our microcontroller. Hook it all up. So we've got our launched got pitch out. It's going to go to our rear ones. Pitch coming from our tilt sensor. That'll be here. Altitude. And then we've got our tilt sensor at the front, which is just going to go to our two control fins there. Don't need anything else except electricity. So connect all of your electricity up. Got our electricity there. And let's see if this works. So what we're going to do is we're going to spawn in... Our um, a boat. I'm probably just going to use the boat from my Conquest series that I'm making at the moment. Um, feel free to check that out and we're going to blow it up. Okay, so we've got the boat lined up um, and we're just going to launch this torpedo and watch it blow up the boat. <laughs> and as you can see, you know, that did a lot, a lot of damage. Uh, if we go into the boat and see, you know, it's, well, we would have lost fuel. We would have lost quite a few things. We've broken our cooling. So yeah, as you can see, this does a lot of damage. And uh, well, I mean, it's, it's kind of still going. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you want to pull the torpedo out of this creation, go into your selection grid. What we're going to do is hold control over a starting piece. I'd say contact sensor. We're going to grab our hardpoint connector. So hold shift and hold shift over your propeller and grab each side. Just holding shift as you do so. Cool, we selected the entire thing and we're going to cut that. Make sure we've got everything by moving it. We're going to save that as a vehicle. And we're just going to example torpedo okay so there we go guys um you're free to paint it as you want if you want to extend it and add more batteries or more warheads you can do so if you want to tune it differently to how i do it again that's up to you thank you very much everyone for watching i hope you enjoyed next tutorial we'll be making uh sonar guided torpedoes and i will see you in the next video goodbye